Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Welcome to our show. Oh, buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Welcome to our show. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Uh, buenos días, uh, Mr. Higgins. Yeah, buenos días. Hey guys, how's it going? How are you? Good to have you. We've been uh, we've been trying to get you on the show for a while now. Oh yeah, thanks. Um, you know, just been real busy. Uh, trying to do online school, get the kids through online school, making a lot of art. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool, man. Nice. Um, we've been doing new, something kind of new. There are some people that, uh, are chose K through 12. So, uh, would you, would you mind to introduce yourself to people at home? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm Mr. Higgins. I'm the athletic director and I teach middle school PE. Uh, when I first got to ICI though, I taught fifth grade. Um, so some of the older kids might know me that way. Cool, man. Cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, wh what you been up to lately? I heard you uh, had a crazy disc golf game recently. I did, yeah. I had a really good round yesterday. I um, scored five under at Black Mountain. Uh, so, I saw a pretty good round. Um, yeah, just making art, like I said. Uh, trying to keep up with the kids, not go crazy, got all any, those things. Got any art close by you could show us? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Kind of like this guy. Got my little Baltimore Oriole. Nice. I did this guy yesterday. Oh, cool. Little, yeah, that's based off a picture I took in Hawaii. Um, that's based off a picture I took in Miami. Cool, man. Uh, and this little trash panda was just for you, Mr. Barton. <laughs> nice. It looks like you're filling your time well. Yeah, I think it's kind of, you know, keeping me sane, having something to do. Well, nice. Uh, hey, do you happen to have a ukulele hat close by? Yeah. Cool, man. I like your ukulele hat there, Mr. Higgins. Thanks. <laughs> All right, here we go. I know a place where I can be great. I can build a better me. Every single day, add invest, believe it. We imagine, we nurture, we value, we engage, sustain, and transform as we champion opportunities in leadership and learning, embracing greatness, achievement all within a telescopic environment. Invest collegiate, imagine. <laughs> my my uh, ukulele was slipping, and so oh, I no. almost, almost lost it there for a second. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Higgins, we have brought you here today to, we're not going to play a game. We are going to learn a little more about you. Okay, cool. So we're gonna ask you some questions uh, aimed at that goal of getting to know you a little bit better. Do you think you're ready? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we've used this questionnaire before. It comes from uh, an old an old show. 
I guess it's old now, uh, called Inside the Actors Studio. There was a fellow on that show. He's since passed away. His name was James Lipton. He was the, uh, I think he was the director, or the, uh, he was in charge of the Actors Studio in New York City. Uh, and so it's his, it's his questionnaire based off of another guy's questionnaire, but it's, it's a good question. So here we go. Uh, what is your favorite word? Hmm, favorite word. I would say that my favorite word is probably giggle because it's kind of a silly word and it has to do like I just love laughter. Uh, I love funny things. So it kind of fits both the form and format of the question, I guess. Cool. What's your what's your least favorite word? Oh, probably bored. Um, and that one's kind of like, I feel like I've watched your show and heard people say that one before, but it's just that whole, I don't, I don't usually let myself get too bored because I've got way too many things that I want to do. And I, it annoys me to hear people say that they're bored. Yeah, I always, I always tell students boredom is a choice. You, you, you can choose boredom. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, and I, I agree. Not only that, but like, there's nothing wrong with not having something to entertain you every second, too, because that's good for your brain to just. Yeah, cool. Definitely. All right, uh, Mr. Higgins, what is your favorite sound? Hmm. Favorite sound. Well, based on what I said earlier, I really like the sound of plastic against chains right now playing as much disc golf, but I don't know if that's my favorite. Um, I, I would say my favorite sound is just anybody shouting like with excitement or like accomplishment i'm thinking of people who like you know do something for the first time students who you know play a game and they score points for the first time or watching sports i love i do love sports obviously and uh watching watching the last dance the chicago bulls documentary i really love you know just that winning it's fun and hearing people express that is great. Cool. Uh, least favorite sounds? Ooh. <clears throat> uh, any whining. Um, I had a, <laughs> I wrestled in college and I had this, a college coach who would do this little like, uh, I don't even know how he described it. He described it as a small defenseless little baby mammal. You just go, anytime you whined about anything. Uh, and I have taken that up and I sometimes do that with kids. Uh, I just, I, I, I'm fine with you expressing to me why you're upset or things like that. But when it's just, please give me sympathy, that, not a fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my kids uh, have been known to do that from time to time. All right, Mr. Higgins. Um, what is a job, other than the one that you have now, that you would most like to try? Hmm. That's a toughie. I feel like I'm the kind of person who I could enjoy a lot of things. I'm not not the kind of person who feels like, oh, there's just this one thing that I like to do. Um, honestly, something in sales, like where I'm dealing with people all day and just getting, like my job is the people portion of things. Like the, that's something that I enjoy. So, yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people don't like sales. Yeah. Uh, what job uh, would you least like to attempt? Job you absolutely wouldn't want to do. 
something on the other end of that spectrum, something where I'm kind of like by myself in a little office somewhere. So like, I think, um, I don't know, accountant, something where people like bring me numbers and I just do that by myself all day sounds not fun. All right, man. Uh, what makes your day? Right now, while we're stuck in quarantine, I would say little, little signs of affection for my kids really make my day. Um, especially like unprompted. So if my kids come and give me a hug or, you know, things like that, that, yeah, really makes a difference. Yeah. Gotcha. What, uh, what bums your day out? Um, I guess what bums my day out is anytime I feel like someone's really upset with me, I, clearly I'm a people person and relationships matter a lot based on all of these answers. Uh, so anytime I feel like someone is upset or I have done wrong by somebody, I carry it with me. Like it's the only thing I can think about for all day, possibly weeks. Yeah. yeah I know yeah, what you I, mean. I understand that too. Definitely. All right. Last question, Mr. Higgins. Uh, what on the day that you pass from this earth do you hope will be said about you in your memory? Sticking with this theme, um, I hope that people will say that I cared about people. Um, you know, there's not any accomplishments that I'm worried about or things that, you know, I've done that will last a long time. Just that the people who do remember me will remember that I cared about them and that, uh, you know, they knew that I cared about them and, um, that I tried to do right by people and take care of them. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for being on our show, Mr. Higgins. Yeah. Thanks, man. It was, it was fun. Cool. Well, we'll say goodbye to everybody at home. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> All right.